All right, guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, soon to be miserable, wet bulb day here in the collapse of everything at Bugs in a Jar Farm in the Finger Lakes of New York, baby. Here, uh, what is it? It is a Tuesday morning, I believe, July 8th. 2024 something like that so anyway uh you know this is is this the fifth day of my hiatus from doom scrolling so i've just got to think of other ways to chronicle the collapse uh on my own so this gator and this solar panel not solar panel solar generator well i put solar in uh quotation marks is a perfect example of what collapse is going to look like as things like this start disappearing from our life so anyway I understand that there's some sort of rumor going around in the doomosphere that this gator is uh, somehow not with us anymore that will be a <coughs> very sad day in my life to put it mildly when this fine machine is no longer is is no longer uh with us uh don't you love the the gas cap on my uh on my gator so anyway uh this gator was gifted to me by my now former very good friend of mine we'll call him billy bob I think it was three years ago you gave me this gator billy bob and uh were kind enough to hand over the gator to me to help out at bugs in a jar farm and uh there's something about this gator that uh destroyed our friendship i to this day i i have no clue but I have a sneaking suspicion that the friendship was destroyed over this gator. Uh, and that is too bad because I do miss the friendship. But I do have the gator at least uh, as a memento of my, of my former friendship. <coughs> so uh, I was 61 years old when I, uh, when I got this gator never had one of these things 61 years I I spent my entire life uh, without a gator in my life uh, never had one never thought about getting one never entered my mind and uh, one appeared in my life three years ago and, and now uh, I, I am completely dependent on the thing i would be completely fucked uh w with, without this gator at bugs in a jar farm and it, this is a perfect example uh today uh w with with this goddamn quote solar generator i think that i got this uh 1200 blue eddy 2000 watt generator around the same time as i got the gator and the point of getting this thing was to, you know, to put it on the tiny house and charge the generator with solar panels uh, to, to have electricity. Well, there's just one problem. So he's, I spent hundreds of more dollars uh, setting up the solar panels and my buddy got all of it set. But the problem was we built the house when there weren't any leaves on the damn trees and and, and, and then the leaves come out and voila it's too shady to, to, to run the goddamn generator uh, th th this is a, a, a little problem that these little greenies don't want to talk about with with solar power it's not just dark uh, they, they, they don't work in the fucking uh in, in the fucking shade so and, and this goddamn thing weighs over 60 pounds uh, this son of a bitch weighs over 60 pounds uh so what i have to do now is uh is 
load this 60 pound son of a bitch into the back of this uh, life saving planet eating gator bring it down all the way down and, and let it charge up you, you know uh, on the main cabin's grid because you know we're all uh, on the grid here so it, 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 it's, it, it kind of defeats the purpose of getting a goddamn solar generator but thank God for the grid thank God for global industrial civilization uh, and, and, and thank God for this fossil fuel powered gator uh, if, if I did not have uh, this gator, the, this uh, fossil fuel powered friendship destroying uh, gator in my life, uh, I would be fucked right now, guys. I, 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 how, how the hell would I be getting this 60 pound thing up the side of a mountain? Uh, you know, I'm, uh, it, it, it's just. Uh, once you get shit uh, like this in your life, then, then, then you can't live without it. So uh, now I live in, in uh, constant fear that, that this damn gator is, is going to break down. Uh, at, at, at which point I would be fucked. I would be, I guess what I would be doing right now is uh, doing this on a wagon that uh, on this uh, 90 degree wet bulb uh, July day, I, I would be loading up this 60 pound uh, battery uh, on a fucking wagon and, and dragging it up uh, you know, down the road, up the hill, uh, all, all of this shit uh, to power up uh, the house. And uh, you know, I'm a I'm a 64 year old man. Uh, so anyway, uh, it, it's just uh, you know about about how we get addicted to all this shit. You know, it's it's the smartphones, it's the internet, uh, all of this shit. Never had this shit. 300,000 years uh, we, we never had all of this crap this planet eating crap in our lives and then we get it in our lives and, and, and we cannot uh, we, we cannot uh, turn back uh, the clock on this stuff and uh, so now uh, I, I can never not have a gator uh, so when this gator does uh, finally uh, you, you know go the way of uh, all this other shit uh, I'm fucked and I will have to get another gator uh, but but I don't think uh, I'm gonna have a buddy uh, handing me a free gator uh, the goddamn thing uh, it, it is gonna cost me thousands of dollars uh, to replace this thing but I but I have no choice uh, I, I have no other option well I, as I say I I, I guess the the a, a wagon uh, would be the uh, would would be the other option uh, would would be a damn wagon but but even the wagon uh, eventually uh, the, the wagon is gonna fall apart you know I'm so goddamn glad I'm uh, in uh, my 60s uh, because you know it, 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 it's like everything uh, is a race to the grave like like even these uh, tiny houses this is the uh, this is the the seahorse tiny house up here in the pine grove and I I do want to once again thank my uh, good buddy Groot coming out here from California risking his life to uh, trim up these uh, pine trees and make this absolutely beautiful clearing in the forest 
so Groot, come out here and uh, enjoy seahorse for a few days. But uh, so, so these tiny houses are a perfect example. Y you know, these are just rough cut, uh, untreated lumber built by these Amish guys. <coughs> and, uh, you know, they, they, well, I mean, I put a little, you know, a little coat of exterior stain on them. Uh, I mean, the carpet, the, the, the carpenter uh, ants and the carpenter bees, it, it, it wasn't... This house wasn't six months old before uh, the carpenter ants and the carpenter bees and maybe even termites. I don't know if there's termites up here yet. Uh, started chewing it up. And, and you know, when the, when the guys, you know, milled this lumber, they, you know, they made it clear that uh, th th this rough cut raw lumber, this is uh, hemlock is what this is what was probably going to last about 20 years and i said well uh, what the fuck i'm 62 and, and the and the damn planet is collapsing uh so uh this this house has about a 20 year lifespan uh before it falls into the ground but uh you know i'll be 82 years old and hopefully long dead uh before that happens and uh so anyway let's see what my i haven't been up here since my last guests checked out they were from india so my guess is they cleaned up beautifully look at this you would you would never even know anybody had been here these folks from India are so meticulous. So anyway, let me uh, let me go out there and drag drag my uh, sixty pound generator. <sighs> so these nice folks coming in. Can have a little bit of global industrial civilization from up here. Uh, thank God for global industrial civilization. Uh, I mean, without global industrial, I mean, j j just trimming these pine trees. Okay, so Groot, uh, of course, he he, had, he flew in from California, bringing his gas powered chainsaws with him he, he, he actually loaded his fossil fuel powered uh chainsaws onto a jet airplane and, and made a round trip uh to cut well he wasn't coming just to do this but but you see what i'm saying that just to clear just to cut the dead limbs off the pine grove and make this beautiful place a uh, good god almighty uh, and, and, and how much planet eating was involved in that. And uh, every, you know, I uh, obviously, I would not have these tiny houses uh, w w without global industrial civilization. Uh, and, and it's going to suck uh, when it goes. It, I mean, it's truly going to suck. Uh... You know, when you no longer can can go to the John Deere Gator store, as I recall, my buddy. Well, it was you know back in those supply chain crunch days. I think that my buddy. Uh, well, I have to keep saying my former buddy now. Uh, went to order his new Gator. It took uh, what was it like nine months nine months for them to uh, deliver the, uh, th th this gator. And, and, and that's how it's going to start. And now I guess John Deere has moved their, I guess their main factory from the U.S. down to Mexico. So now uh, anybody wanting to buy a John Deere gator is going to be buying one, I assume, made in Mexico. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts. 
anyway, just chronicling the collapse of it all. But up here in the pines, it is cool, shady, and breezy at Seahorse in the Pines. So I'm going to uh, hook up this battery and go clean out the outhouse. Uh, at, least, at least the outhouse is not too dependent on global industrial civilization. I, I think outhouses, I think you will still be able to shit in the woods after the collapse of global industrial civilization, so maybe we, uh, maybe we can all, uh, the, uh, the civilization that shits together, stays together. We're all gonna hang out in the outhouse and sing Kumbaya together. Alright, I have a business to run. So, uh, I got to wrap up today's chronicle of the collapse and, uh, get out there and get her done. Well, I still can. I highly advise you to get out there and get her done while you still can. Bye, guys.